Ever wondered how your food choices are affecting your kidney health? Welcome to an intriguing journey into the world of dietary choices and their effects on one of the most vital organs in our body, the kidneys. Our kidneys, the unsung heroes of our body's filtration system, tirelessly work behind the scenes to keep us healthy. Yet, they are often overlooked when we think about our health. In the United States alone, nearly 40 million people are grappling with chronic kidney disease, highlighting the urgency to prioritize kidney health. The food we consume plays a significant role in determining the health of our kidneys. Certain foods, while seemingly harmless, could be silently causing damage to these crucial organs. So, buckle up as we count down the 10 foods that might be secretly damaging your kidneys. This knowledge could be a game changer, helping you make more informed dietary decisions for optimal kidney health. Starting our countdown at number 10, we have milk. This dietary staple, often touted for its calcium and vitamin D content, can actually be a double-edged sword when it comes to kidney health. Regular consumption of milk in large quantities can lead to an overload of calcium in your body. This excess calcium doesn't just vanish into thin air. Instead, it can accumulate and form kidney stones, painful crystalline structures that can obstruct the urinary tract. Now, this doesn't mean you need to eliminate milk entirely from your diet. It's all about balance. Consuming milk in moderation, along with plenty of water, can actually be beneficial for your kidneys and overall health. But downing glass after glass of milk each day, that might just be asking for trouble. So, if you're a milk lover, you might want to rethink that extra glass. At number 9, we have a favorite spread peanut butter. A staple in many households, peanut butter is a delicious and versatile food. But did you know that it's also a high phosphorus food? Phosphorus is an essential mineral, but for those with kidney problems, too much of it can be a bad thing. When the kidneys aren't functioning at their peak, they struggle to remove excess phosphorus from the blood. This can lead to calcium being pulled from the bones, weakening them over time. It can also cause itchy skin and heart disease. Furthermore, high phosphorus levels can interfere with the kidney's ability to keep vitamin D levels balanced, essential for bone health and immune system function. So while peanut butter is undeniably tasty, it's important to remember that it's also high in phosphorus. So next time you reach for that jar of peanut butter, remember moderation. On to numbers 8 and 7, we have apricots and tomatoes. Now, don't get us wrong, these fruits are nutritional powerhouses packed with vitamins and antioxidants. However, they also carry a high potassium content. Consuming them in moderation is beneficial, but too much could lead to a condition called hyperkalemia, or potassium overload. Hyperkalemia is a serious condition that can cause heart palpitations, shortness of breath, and even chest pain. It's particularly risky for those with kidney issues as the kidneys are responsible for filtering out excess potassium. An apricot, for instance, contains about 186 milligrams of potassium, and a cup of chopped tomatoes offers around 427 milligrams. These amounts can quickly add up in a diet rich in these fruits, potentially overloading the kidneys with more potassium than they can handle. So, while it's important to enjoy the health benefits of apricots and tomatoes, it's also crucial to keep your portions in check. Remember, too much of a good thing can be harmful. At number 6 and 5, we have pickles and oranges. Pickles, those tangy, crunchy bites, are a delightful addition to many meals. But they're a veritable sodium bomb. Sodium in excess can increase blood pressure and strain your kidneys. On the other hand, oranges, a citrus favorite, are a surprise entry on this list due to their high potassium content. While potassium is a necessary mineral, too much of it can cause hyperkalemia, a condition that can lead to heart rhythm problems and poor kidney health. It's a balancing act, really. Our bodies need sodium and potassium, but too much of either can be harmful. So when you're reaching for a snack or planning your meals, remember to consider the sodium and potassium content of your food. It's always wise to keep an eye on your sodium and potassium intake. Coming in at number four and three, we have potatoes and chocolate. Potatoes, a beloved staple in many diets, are packed with potassium. Now, potassium is not inherently harmful. In fact, it's essential for heart health and muscle function. However, in excess, it can be a villain to our kidneys. When our kidneys are healthy, they regulate our body's potassium levels. But if they're compromised, the potassium can build up, causing heart and nerve problems. So, should we banish potatoes from our plates? Not necessarily. There's a clever trick to reduce their potassium content. Leaching. Leaching is a process where we soak potatoes in water to draw out potassium. Here's how it works. First, peel and slice your potatoes. Then, 
soak them in warm water for at least two hours. If you're planning ahead, you can even soak them overnight. After soaking, drain and rinse the potatoes before cooking. This simple process can remove up to half of the potato's potassium content, making it a safer choice for your kidneys. Now let's turn to our sweet nemesis, chocolate. Chocolate, especially the dark variety, is often praised for its antioxidants. But there's a catch. It's also high in phosphorus, a mineral that, like potassium, can be harmful in excess. Phosphorus can cause damage to your kidneys and lead to heart disease. So what's a chocoholic to do? First, remember that not all chocolates are created equal. White chocolate contains less phosphorus than its darker counterparts. Also, moderation is key. Enjoying a small piece of chocolate occasionally won't necessarily harm your kidneys, but regular large servings might. In the end, it's all about balance. It's okay to enjoy these foods, but we need to be mindful of their hidden threats to our kidney health. So, next time you crave fries or a chocolate bar, remember your kidneys. And finally, the top two offenders, canned soups and red meat. Our seventh food on the list is canned soups. They might be a quick and convenient meal option, especially on those cold winter nights, but they hide a nefarious secret. These soups are often loaded with sodium, a mineral that, in excess, can cause your kidneys to work overtime to remove it from your bloodstream. But that's not all. Many canned soups also contain high levels of potassium, another mineral that kidneys struggle to filter when consumed in large amounts. So next time you reach for that can of soup, think about the silent strain you could be putting on your kidneys. Now, let's turn our attention to the last food on our list, red meat. A staple in many diets, red meat is high in protein. While protein is essential for our bodies, consuming it in excess can lead to kidney damage. You see, when we eat more protein than our bodies need, our kidneys have to work harder to filter out the waste products. Over time, this extra strain can lead to a decrease in kidney function, and it's not just the protein. Red meat is also high in saturated fats, which can lead to high cholesterol and increase the risk of kidney disease. So while that juicy steak might be tempting, consider opting for leaner proteins or plant-based alternatives instead. In summary, canned soups and red meat may be convenient and delicious, but their high sodium, potassium, and protein content can put a significant strain on your kidneys. It's important to remember that moderation is key. We're not saying you need to completely eliminate these foods from your diet, but being mindful of your intake can go a long way in protecting your kidney health. These common foods might be convenient and tasty, but they could be silently damaging your kidneys. So there you have it. The 10 foods that might be secretly damaging your kidneys. As we've discovered, Seemingly innocent dietary staples like milk, peanut butter, and even fruits like apricots and oranges can be harmful to our kidneys due to their high phosphorus and potassium content. Even the beloved chocolate and savory canned soups aren't as innocent as they seem. But remember, it's not about completely eliminating these foods from your diet, it's about moderation and balance. Navigating the world of dietary choices can be complex, and every individual's needs are unique. Therefore, Seeking advice from healthcare professionals for personalized diet plans is essential. By being mindful of our food choices and opting for kidney-friendly alternatives, we can protect these vital organs and maintain our overall health. Share this information with your loved ones and prioritize kidney health for a happier, healthier life.